Hello and this is our first video on Google Drive and in this video what we're going to do is we're going to talk a little bit about sharing uh, which is a little tricky in Google Drive and I just want to go over um, some highlights to that. Um, so the first thing I'm actually going to do is just trying to jump over here and share this slide with you. Um, basically uh, sharing permissions. There's two types. I, I look at it as two types of sharing. There's editing permissions and who can access. So with um, Google Drive, you can you, there's you can either set people can either have a, a document that's private. Um, somebody else can view the document. Um, somebody else can make comments on a document, or somebody else can have edit privileges. So those are the type of editing permissions. On the other hand, you can also have different people that can access. So only you could access. You can have specific people access if you're in an organization. Um, like a school, only maybe people in your school or district can access, um, anyone with a link that you send the link to can access, or it's searchable on the web. Um, so it gets pretty complicated uh, as far as sharing permissions, but uh, let me jump back over here and uh, I want to just kind of demo a few ways to share it. Number one, um, there's, there's two ways we can access and sometimes actually more ways we can access sharing the document. Um, so number one, look, I can click on a document and this menu pops up up here and I can click on what I like to call the ombre. Okay, I can click on the ombre and my uh, sharing box pops up. I can access that same box by um, right clicking on the dock which on many trackpads uh, there's, there's a, a two finger click maybe or a right click on a mouse and I can go down here to share. Check out the other options by the way when I right click a document. And so when I look at that um, I can either like directly type uh, people in here and if I've shared with them uh, before their name will actually pop up um, but if not I have to type it in. Now with this person that I'm sharing, this specific person, I can share it as can edit, uh, can comment, or can view. So those are the three different um, um, editing options I have. I can also send a note if I want to. Here you go. And that's going to, um, they can access that in their email or in their drive. Um, I usually leave this notified people on. So I'm going to go ahead and send that. And then I'm going to show you the other way kind of that we can share um, this. Yes, I want to share it even though they're outside of my organization. The other way, again, I'm going to click here on the uh, document. I'm going to click the ombre here, and I'm going to show you the advanced sharing uh, options here. Um, so see down here, it's advanced. And so sometimes I, I can see in advance, I can look who it's being shared with. Um, I can uh, see who the owner is. There's a few owner settings here that I can prevent people from adding and accessing or disabling printing and such. Uh, but I can also see where it says, this might say private if uh, only to you or specific people can access or anyone with a link can edit. But if I uh, click here and I go to change, I have these other options like it's public, it's anyone with a link. So public on the web, anyone can find it. Anyone with a link, only people with a link can find it. Um, again, and these are two other within Monterey County. Anyone in Monterey County can find it or anybody in Monterey County with a link. Um, and and then or just off I can turn that off completely right or I can turn that back on and then what type of access do they have their editing permissions can they view can they edit can they comment um, so you want to be careful because if anyone with a link can edit literally anyone that has that link can go in there and edit that document um, so I'm gonna go and go ahead and save I haven't had too many issues and then again this uh, window shares me tells me who I can share it with now there's actually a third way to share uh, Google Docs as well, um, which is pretty standard for most Google Docs with the exception of a few, um, including um, <clears throat> forms. So when I open the Google Doc, I can uh, actually share it from within the Google Doc. Um, so I open the Doc, again I see the ombre here, I can click share and notice, um, oh by the way, this is editors can see, see your view history, people can see if you viewed the document if they're an editor. So you as an editor can see who's looked at your document. Does this look familiar? It should. This is the same box that came up when I right click the document. Uh, same options. You can see it shared with Coach Ben. I can see my advanced box here. And I can also just grab the link here. So if I wanted just to email somebody a link maybe or include it in a document like an agenda, I could literally uh, co copy this link to the clipboard and look. When I paste it, boom, there's my link. There's the link to my Google Doc. When I click on it, guess what's going to happen? It's going to open up that Google Doc. Um, that was a whole lot of information on uh, sharing permissions. 
Um, hopefully that helps you understand sharing permissions a little bit better. It is pretty complicated. You can watch uh, the video again and hopefully it will help. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.